Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to be off on Labor Day and it's nice to make a video with you guys. Make a card. I took this is from the Beachy Little Christmas. If everybody knows me, you know I love the beach. I would definitely have to get this stamp set. It comes out of our brand new holiday catalog. You can order from it now. Go to stampinginthevalley.com and click on the big blue button. If you place a $25 online order with me the month of September, these are the two free card kits, you'll receive all the embellishments, just no stamped images. Please watch the video at the end of this one and it will explain all of this to you. It's just $25 in Stampin' Up! product before shipping, handling, and taxes. And I send you these two free card kits with envelopes. So let's get back to this card. In our holiday catalog, they decided to do a beachy little Christmas. Who needs snowflakes when you need seashells? I used every single stamp. That was the sentiment I used. You get two sentiments. Um, have yourself a beachy little Christmas so that we could put on the next one. But as you can see, I used every single stamp. We're going to come back and make this card together. Um, so if you want to craft with me, our base is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. I used Daffodil Delight. And our, uh, the front of the card is a 5 and a quarter by 4, and that's just of Whisper White. And you will need your watercolor pencils. Isn't that cute? I love the palm tree with the lights. Okay, back in a minute, we'll do some coloring, stamping and coloring. Okay, let's start to stamp. I used our watercolor pencils to do all the coloring with. And I didn't use any water, so you don't have to worry about using like a black archival ink. Um, so that's, I just colored. So that's what I did. But you can, of course, use a black archival ink and then do any kind of watering coloring that you'd like. Um, so first, what I did with my card was I used my pear pizzazz. And I got my tree. I love this tree. It has um, candy canes and starfish and seahorses and like little medallion looking things, little conch shells. Just absolutely adorable tree for a beachy tree. So I go ahead and I'm going to ink this up in my pear pizzazz nicely. I love the little bucket it's in too because it has polka dots. Very, very beachy, nice little beachy scene. So I'm going to look here to, make, to see that I have a nice shimmer of ink. Come back over here and ink it up a little bit more. I think I've got enough though. Okay, and get your cardstock straight. When you start off, start off with straight and like I do, I hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> I also have this lined up at the bottom so that I can see. It helps me get things straight. You know, the more that you have straight, your block straight, your stamp straight, your cardstock straight, that kind of helps you. This also would be a good stamp for the Misty, but we're good. We got a nice image. Just in case, you know, if you were using black archival and you had to go back and forth and you wanted a really deep color. That would be great. Now we're going to get our palm tree. Look at this little palm tree. Isn't that adorable? I know you guys are going to have fun with this stamp set. And you know, a lot of our stamp sets here lately, we have to cut a lot out with the big shot. They're builder sets. So sometimes I just like to get in here and get a stamp set and just stamp and color. Or even just stamp. So I'm putting my tree right next to, my palm tree right next to my Christmas tree. Isn't that adorable? I came a little bit lower with these than I did on the other card, but it doesn't matter. We'll get everything all around it. So that's it for the pear pizzazz. Now some of my other colors, and you can use any colors that you want. I use pumpkin pie, tempting turquoise, real red, daffodil delight. And I use like my crab. I wanted my crab to be red. So he's holding a little branch right here, so I'm calling that the top. So I'm just going to ink my little crab up and put him right there. Isn't that cute? 
He came out cute. Okay, good. <laughs> you guys know I love to stamp. Okay, my conch shell I'm going to do in my turquoise, tempting turquoise. Again, just inking that up nicely. And I'm going to put that right there. Perfect. So much fun. Now I'm going to get my Daffodil Delight and do like this shell right here. I call it the fan shell. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Right here. Nice. And then the little twisted kind of conch shell. The one that's in the circle right here. I'm going to do that in pumpkin pie. And I'm going to put that right down here. Love it. Isn't that fun? Now, I did use the sentiment, um, who needs snowflakes when you have seashells? But I'm going to take this off. And let's use, have yourself a beachy little Christmas. Now, seriously, guys, I have used this entire stamp set. Okay, every one of them. So much fun. I love it when I get to use everything and that it's a beachy little Christmas. I have to admit, I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting into Christmas right yet. I'm not ready for it, so doing a beachy little Christmas was kind of right up my alley. So I'm going to use this in the pear pizzazz, just my sentiment. I'm not ready to give up summer yet, but it is turning fall in Upper East Tennessee, I have to admit, and UT plays tonight. Uh, Monday night football game, UT. I can't wait, season opener. So I won't be, I might be in the craft room while I'm watching that ball game. I was going to say I won't be in the craft room, but that's when I, oh, that came out perfect. That's when I love to craft when football's on. That came out beautiful. Look at our little card, how it's coming together. Okay, so that's our stamping. Now, what you want to do right here is any colors that you want, guys, absolutely any colors. Um, I'm going to do my star in the Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to color around that just like that. My candy canes I'm going to do in real red just like that. It's very very simple, very very um, relaxing, fun to do, fun to play with. One time I had I went to the beach for Christmas and oh my gosh it was beautiful and it actually snowed there and snow on the beach at Christmas is just beautiful. So I'm not going to do all of this coloring on camera with you but you get the idea okay and then what I did here the coconuts I did those in brown right here and then what I did for the um, the lights, I just picked out three colors. Like I did a blue, a yellow, a green, blue, yellow, well, four colors. Blue, yellow, green, and red, okay? And then I just kind of went through and alternated them where I wanted them. So I wanted to start with my deepest color. I wanted to start with the red. So if I do red here, then I just say red, blue, green, red, yellow blue, green, red, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow, red, blue, green, yellow, red, and on from there, okay? I'll be back in just a moment and we're going to put this element together up here after I get everything colored. Okay, I finished coloring and while I was at it, I went ahead and stamped this. This is just on a 3x3. Three three. I love the little hut because of the little surfboard right here. That is adorable. So I'm going to be doing something next with this. I really can't stop using this set. Um, so I colored with my watercolor pencils. And that's what I came up with. And now I want to show you guys how to make this element right here. It's very simple. We just use some of our burlap ribbon. Okay. And we just want a piece of that to go up here but overlap. Okay. I'm going to flip this over. And for this, because the burlap is so thick, I'm going to use some fast fuse. Just on the edges, just like I would do the... Um, 
the snail. Okay. And we'll flip this over, and then I kind of just eyeball where I like it. I'm not a big one on measuring, guys. I gotta admit, I'm just not a big measurer. So I just kind of eyeball it and hope for the best, I guess. But we usually come out with some really cute stuff, I think. <clears throat> okay, right there. Now then, what I did was right here on this, I took my pokey tool and I put three glue dots in the middle. Just like this. Very simple. Okay. Sometimes you have to push these glue dots into the fabric or the ribbon that you're using, but they do stick. Now you can use either side. It has dashes on one side, X's on the other. I like the X's. And I just lay this on the glue dots right there in the center so that now I know this is down really well. Okay? I'm going to flip it over and apply two glue dots back here. Very simply. Just like that. So that everything sticks down. I'm just going to take that over and just push it right into that glue dot. Let's see on the other side. Okay, and we still this is still bouncing a little bit, okay? So again, with your glue dots, and you could use as many as you want, but put it behind where the yellow is. Okay. And I'm going to use three for right now. I might use, I might put some in the middle, I don't know. So did you see what I did? I snuck it up under here, kind of held it on where the yellow part was, and then just took my finger and stick it down. Just pushed it down, and then I can remove the paper from underneath here quickly, just like that. Come out of there. Okay. And now I'm just going to push that down. And that is makes it perfect. Okay? So now let's bring our card base in. This is, uh, let's see, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, and it's our Daffodil Delight. I happen to like it on here. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, because of how thick this is, I am going to use the Fast Fuse. I'm going to come here and try to kind of hold that down, but go over it. Let that Fast Fuse get on there. This side also, I just kind of hold it down, run it over it. I'm stuck to it. It's stuck to me. There. <laughs> and then I just kind of go across here where that is. Where you've put that burlap ribbon just to give it um, really solid adhesive. And I'm telling you that, whew, that fast fuse is sticky. Okay. So we're going to line this up again. Use something on your grid, your grid paper, your mat to line it up straight. Come in. Now, we have fast fuse on this, so you have one shot. That's it. So what I do is I take my corners. Okay, look up at the top. Look up right up here. I take my corners, and I make sure that I'm okay side to side and on the top, and then I just lay it down, and it usually comes perfect. Thank you so much for watching me make this card today with our beachy little Christmas that is featured in the brand new holiday catalog. Nice. You can order from it now. If you place a $25 order, remember, I will send you these two free card kits. And if you're a new customer, you're going to get new catalogs, the annual and the holiday catalog. Thanks again for watching. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. Happy crafting!